Hello. Welcome. We're back. It is Cool People Monday. Uh, we're playing some more Death's Door. Petey, what is this game? Why are we playing it? Death's Door is kind of a Zelda-like, Dark Souls-like, Metroidvania-like kind of game where a little bird running around uh, fighting big monsters. It's from the same people who made Titan Souls. There's a lot of the same DNA in this game, I would say. We're, we're top-down most of the time, running around, well, most of the time, all the time, running around fighting people with a little sword and our, and our bow and arrow. It's pretty good. Today, we need to remember what we were doing. Let's get this off the screen. We don't need this. Uh, and we're in slot two. That's the right slot to be in. Perfect. Cool. Oh my god, my shirt is clear. I may need to adjust the old, uh, the old chroma key there. I didn't, <laughs> I guess it's too close to the color of the green screen. It's gray, but there you go. Maybe, maybe we can adjust this. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just be clear sometimes. I don't have a big problem with that. Right, so we were here. We were trying to... We did like a fight with a big treasure chest at the end of last time. Right, okay, I'm getting... I'm remembering this. It's coming back. Can I reflect the fireballs? Wow. Off to a bad start, it's gotta be said. If I recall correctly, is there not somewhere I can heal? Like... In here? A little bit of a pain. Okay, we have to not get hit by this little Spider-Man. Look out. He is the Spider-Man. Okay. Hmm. I feel more chilled out. At the, at the end of uh, last time we were playing this, I was the opposite of chilled out. We had to do a fight where they really... Um, it was like on a bunch of little narrow bridges and just like having your movement constricted in a game is is very frustrating to me. It's the same as like when they, somebody puts an effect on you that like slows you in a game. It's I find it very annoying. Uh, and similarly when we weren't able to negotiate the little area that we were in basically at all. Uh, bit of a pain. Is this right? This feels wrong. But I can't remember. God damn, that just brings me here? Oh my god. You know where we gotta go? It's right up in the middle. Just ignore these guys. It's right here, right? This is where we need to be? I'm so dumb. Alright, it's okay. We're getting back into it. Let's go. Ooh, we might need to fix that camera. Let's do it. Right now? Let's do it right now. Nobody's, nobody's watching yet, I bet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It'll just take a second. If we go to our video capture device and we set the filters, can we make this shirt not be clear? This actually, uh, you know what? I don't want to F with it live. We're gonna leave, we're gonna leave it alone. Change my mind again. It's fine. My shirt can be a little bit clear. Right, if we had a way to blow it up, that would be fantastic, but we don't. So instead we're gonna crack open this chest. No! It was more surprising the first time, but still. I wonder what that blue splatter on his tongue is. Was he like eating a blue popsicle? Previously. Okay, these guys we know we hate. And so in fact, get out of there. Let's take out other people first. I was like, game volume might be a little high. Oh, I forgot that we have a bone arrow that we should be using. Let's make sure we're doing that. So really what we want is to be farming up arrows from these other dudes. 
and shooting them at the night. I'm gonna turn down the sound a little, a tiny bit right after this. Hold up, let's actually do that right now. We'll just go down to like, oh, maybe like this. Got him. All right. Whoa, 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 who hit me? Archer duel? Oh, I'm getting owned here. Okay, we gotta get back into the swing of this a little bit. Let's try that one again. You do hate to see it. The doors ask you, try again, retry. Does that put me right back in that fight? Oh, easy. Great, fantastic. No, no, no. Careful. Save them all for Mr. Knight. Oh. I was watching the wrong things. No, don't waste arrows on the little guys. Arrows are for the big man. Nice. Fantastic. Okay, we did take a hit, but could have been worse. Big archery man. Look out. That was pretty good. <laughs> this guy is a bit of a problem. As we can see, although he's gonna like, uh, be an exterminator for these bugs. So he's, if I think if we take care of the bugs, we can get, we can finish him off pretty easily. By himself. Let's save him for last. And he's going to do a lot of the work for us here, killing these bugs also. We're out of arrows, but check it out. He's got a slow attack. Okay. It's whiz robe time. Oh, and there's the green whiz robe. You think we can deflect those green things? Probably not. Shoot! Alright, lots is happening. Lots of stuff happening. Get out of there. Got one, at least. Jeez. The guy is shooting me from off screen, I could do without, I'll be honest. Get out of there. Oh, we ran right into it. And out of arrows, too. Keep on him. Where is he? Show yourself. I'll take it. Yeah, we gotta fix the camera. We'll do it. In right after this. We'll take a moment and uh, futz with it a little bit. What power did I get? A gift to a fellow crow to aid you on your quest. What I get, what I get, what I get, what I get. Oh, dope. Oh, we got two crowns now. Bomb spell acquired. That seems pretty hugely helpful. Oh, okay, we can bust that guy out of jail. Let's uh do the thing real quick with Okay, press to switch the bomb spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's um let's see if we can fix the the chroma key real quick. 
Bam, 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 bam. We are on what? Which scene here? Bam. Changing that video, capture device, the filters. Okay, we got to be real careful with this because a little change changes it a lot. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to. I regret, I regret messing with it. I already regret it. All right. I think that's the same. More or less. That's maybe a little bit less. I think I'm still going to have holes in my shirt. Can I... Let me run somewhere so I'm over a light-colored thing. That's eh, okay. We'll see. The next time it's a white background, I'm sure we'll notice. Cool. So now we can bomb our way out, which is pretty huge. Although we need, of course, uh, magic to do so. Oh, it takes a long time to charge up. But it's good, though. It is very good, though. I wonder what's up here. Do I... Is it gonna hit me if I stand too close? Seems okay. Oh, no, I did take a hit. By the look of it. This appears to be a Reaper's abandoned logbook. A concerning seismic event has been recorded in the region surrounding Death's Door. We have been ordered to seal all doors and close all open assignments in the region. There are many Reapers still active there, but these orders are from way above, so I'm not going to question them. Still, I have to ask myself, what happened to the crows who are still out there? Oh my god, were we betrayed? Did they burn us? You hate to see it. These souls, on the other hand, I love to see. Doop, 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 down the stars. Bam! Two for one. Love to see it. Oh, look! It's like a little elevator. Nice. I guess we're just a tiny bit heavier than that counterweight. That's my read on that. You've been all over the place, haven't you? Your doors are everywhere. A little bird told me you even ended up in the big boss's office at one point. What a strange thing. I wonder if someone tampered with your door. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if someone did. Was it you? Ya bird? Alright, do... I don't know my way around this area at all, but fortunately we've ended up back here. Oh look, this place is kind of coming to life. Hello. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? I would. I would love to. If we could get more... Melee damage is what I want. And more reach? Yes. Yeah, we'll take that. Now, where do we go from here? Because we're not done in Ceramic Manor. Oh, you know what? We can break some of these things now, though. Oh, what did I get? You found a discarded umbrella. It's just a thing to keep your feathers dry in grim weather. You can equip it from the weapons menu. Oh, we can get... An umbrella is probably not very useful in combat, but it will keep your feathers dry in bad weather. Okay, let's remember that we have that. We'll keep that in mind. There should be doors we can bomb now. Oh man, gotta go up all these stairs. It's a, it's a journey. Is this backwards? This is backwards. This is where we've, where we got our firepower, right? Could use a map. Wouldn't, wouldn't hurt the game. I'll be honest. Probably would be a big, a big help. But, you know, whatever. Alright, so these are all the witch doors. This is not where we want to be. What I really want is to go back to the frog dungeon. The Grove of Spirits. No. Is this frog dungeon? No, this is a dead end. Okay, presumably a door will be there at some point. Oh man, where's the frog dungeon? Oh, maybe over there? Why does there need to be a railing here? Alright, at least there's an elevator, but man, it would have been a lot nicer to just roll down. Mushroom dungeon, that's probably the one we want, right? Overgrown ruins. Mushroom dungeon. Mushroom dungeon. I'm thinking yes. 
Oh yeah, the shirt looks, I mean, marginally better. Um, we can free this man now. No? Do I need two? Why I can't do this? Maybe it does take two. Oh, it does. You're free! Little bird, save Grunt! Grunt be forever thank, little bird. I don't want to say, is that it, but... Is that it? If we could find a way down there, we could get that, that like, gun that's on the ground. How do I be over there, though? Oh, let's heal up. What did I take a hit from? Standing too close to the bomb, maybe? Get out of here. Just leave. Ignore that man. Ignore that man! So how do I get down there? It seems like... Logically, it would be... Aha! We sniffed it out. However, I don't think I have a green key is the only problem. This door requires a key to open. Okay, we need the green key. The green key. Let's go find the green key. Ooh, I took too long away from this game. I don't remember where we need to go. Although, I mean... Maybe it's good, maybe we want to... Oh, this is not where I need to be. Maybe we want to go back and see what things can be exploded now. Since we now have the exploding stuff ability. We went down here, we did this stuff. There was a big fight here, we unlocked something that I can't remember. What do we got here? Anything to blow up? I guess there's a lot of backtracking that we could do elsewhere, now that we can explode stuff, just for free. But, I don't want to do it. Let's, let's wait until it becomes apparent that we must do that. That door is locked too. Yeah, so if I'm up here, is there something I can explode? Oh, maybe not. This takes us back to the overgrown ruins. I don't really want to be here. I don't think. What happens if we just go up? I don't think we've been up here yet. Let's pull this lever. Is it going to put a ladder down? But why? Oh look, this door opened for us. Is this how we came in originally? Is this the same dungeon? We're gonna drop in maybe somewhere else? I'm fascinated. I feel like I don't know where we're going at all. Oh, God, it's a hammer. Is it gonna be the big slow weapon? You found the thunder hammer. This weapon crackles with a unique soul energy. You can equip it from the weapons menu. You know I want to. A heavy, powerful hammer imbued with lightning. Yo, look at that! That's amazing! Fantastic. I feel good about this. Whoa, these guys... Oh, okay, these are the guys who duck underground. Bam. Alright, we got the hammer, so we've been here before, but we couldn't get up there. Oh man, the hammer's great! I'm into it. I like the way it crackles with lightning energy. It's V-good. And so if I go over here, ah, check it out! No, 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 no. Can I, like, switch to... Oh, weirdly I can. That actually does work. There's the green key! Ah, the green key! Alright, let's take care of these boys. 
Can I... Hup. Look out. Let him hit us. God, that hammer's great. Okay. So we gotta light all of these things. My gut feeling... Oh, that's not a thing that we have to light. That's just a seed pot? Great. And what's over here before we... Oh, it's this room. Weird. Okay. And what if I blow this up? Anything fun? And cool? And cool and fun? Yeah, actually. Oh, we gotta be quicker than that. Oh, that wasn't it? Ah, that definitely wasn't it. Okay. Let's charge up. Let's see what we can do. Bam! Puzzle genius. Oh, cool. Some health? Can we finally get another hit? No, says the owl. The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a vitality crystal. You now have two! Two more will raise us. Just reward me. Why are you being so stingy, game? Makes me crazy. I just want a... I just want a tiny reward for finding this big owl statue. But it's like, no, you can have a piece of a tiny reward. You can have a portion of one. How, please enjoy this crumb. No. I don't. Uh, okay, so, we know what we gotta do here. Easy peasy. We got the green key, so... The... We should be all set, right? We gotta find our way back. Okay, we're here. No problem, we made it already. Ah, I look so good with my big hammer. Sublime. You got the gosh dang gun! You found a corrupted antler! I wonder what creature this used to be attached to. Uh... Did I want that? A large antler riddled with deformities. It must have belonged to a formidable beast. It appears to have broken off some creature's head in a struggle. Perhaps its owner plunged into the pits below. It looks oddly familiar. Uh, okay, it's red and stripy. So, did somebody have this horn that we've seen? Is there somewhere that I can put it, maybe, to, like, complete a statue? I'm just trying to think of, like, video game stuff. In here? No, that's that little soul guy. We saw him already. I really want to try to find the frog dude. Maybe the person plummeted below, they said. Nothing going on here. This was a dead end as well. I believe. Where would I drop off a antler? I can't remember where we've seen an antler. This That was a hundred years ago, probably. It's probably all the way back on Friday. That's like a different life. It's not Mama Woods. Mama Woods doesn't like have an antler, does she? That she needs me to replace? Let's go ask. Mama Woods, where do you live again? I don't remember. Please. Ow. What a bunch of D-bags. Just for that. What I really need, though, is a heal. We're just going to duck in here. We'll see. Maybe somebody in the village has, like, an antler. It seems real. Seems possible. And they'll be like, oh, with my second antler, now I can open up the special trap door that takes you to the frog emperor. And I'll say thank you. 
Alright, so the hammer gets these guys in two, which is kind of great. Look out. Oh, he got me. You gotta be more careful. Good. Oh, and this is blow upable, right? Some part of this wall? No? I'm wrong? I am wrong. Alright, let's go heal at this thing. That's why we put these healing seeds down, so we can have lots of heals, and make lots of mistakes. Let's see... Oh, I didn't even see him. <laughs> I, I saw him, but I was like looking right past him. This I don't think is where we need to be either. How do we get to the village again? I can't remember. Bit of a pain. Let's see. This is a dead end. Cool. Oh, it was up here. Okay. Maybe it was like this, we had to run around in a circle. I feel like probably there was a faster way to do this. I think we're gonna get there and it's gonna turn out that like, if we had just taken a left instead of a right somewhere, we would have been right there at the beginning. But I guess now that we have our new power, it's not a terrible waste to be uh, revisiting old locations. Of course I can't do it. Of course I can't roll off there, that's not how they want me to get to that place. Not the specific way they had in mind. <laughs> Mama Woods, where's your house? This way to the forest settlement. Oh, literally the sign is pointing me. Is this it? It is it. Do you, you have antlers? My ears feel cleansed all of a sudden and just in time to hear the mother's song. The heart of the forest is now open to you. Oh no. No, it's not her antler. Hello again, little bird. Many thanks for save Grunt. Oh, me excite to explore world outside. He has a hat that makes him look like us. Me heard they're good soup in mountains. We'll go find delicious treats. Ah, uh, good for you. Ah, uh, Grunt, I'm happy for you. We, we freed him. He was too much of a free spirit for that terrible place. They were trying to put him in a little box, and I, I just can't have that for him. Alright, and how do I actually get... This is a way in, right? This is like the back way. Right. And if I go in this back way, I have no idea where to go next. I Like, I literally... We opened the big door. We freed the grunt. We... Picked up the, the hammer, we opened the door with the green key, like I feel... I don't know where the next place that we're supposed to be is. Oh, yay! Yeah, we freed the grunt. Did you get a new ability? Yeah, we got a uh, bomb ability, so we can blow up walls now. I was just saying, there's lots of places we could... Oh, this is literally where we need to go. This room. Ha! The Crooked Crow doesn't give up easily, huh? You know, out there I was a tiny frog in a big pond, but here I'm top of the food chain. And my favorite meal is all those delicious stray souls. You've got your work cut out for you, Reaper. My subjects will see to that. Then it's crow pie for supper. And trifle for dessert. Our chef makes a fantastic trifle. Can I have some? We also got this hammer, which rules. Uh, so that's good too. We should have hit the frog. What was I thinking? We gave him a small mercy by not breaking his face right away. The Frog King's Domain, Flooded Fortress. Okay. I wonder what those planks are for. We can't go in the water. We know the water will hurt us. 
But it does look tempting. More seeds. We have kind of a, a surplus of seeds. Oh, that's what the planks are for. All right. Question answered. They're making bridges. Uh, what is this little lava cake? Oh. Revealio. It's not really a puzzle, but that's okay. Do you think if we shoot an arrow straight through here, it will hit a Revealio? Oh, yeah! That was a puzzle. They were just teaching me that first time. Am I gonna get... That was some video game shit. For real! Oh, I think we're gonna get more magic. I think we finally have four of four of this. The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a magic crystal. The completed crystal fills your soul with power, raising your magic capacity. Thank God. we That's the first time we've been rewarded for finding, finding an owl. We had to find uh, six before anything actually happened. Which I guess is actually not that many, but still. I'm peeved. This one's easy. We see it. Oh, look. But how to get? Huh. Alright, eyes peeled for things to shoot. Doesn't it just... Nah, there's nothing there. Maybe a way will be revealed that, that extends from there. I don't want to be on this little platform having a fight. Finding an owl is its own reward? That's true. I shouldn't under... Yeah. I shouldn't undersell that. So why does this area exist? I think it's good in this game to ask ourselves that. But I think it is actually nothing. I'm gonna say file under actually nothing. All this unbreakable masonry. I don't get it. Wow. Oh, we get this as a consolation prize. There's totally a way to do this. Oh, look, the water's not even that deep. Or that guy is super light. Maybe it's just very salty. Have you played Super Metroid? I haven't. I played the original Metroid on Wii Virtual Console, of all things, uh, and didn't really get it. But I understand Super Metroid is much better. That's my hot take. The original Metroid, pretty hard to go back to. What is the secret way? Oh, I can pan the camera. Why? Huh. This is something, right? Hammer? It's not a bad idea. Yeah, smash the hammer into this somehow? Maybe it's our, our fourth ability will let us do something with these circles? We've seen them around before. Certainly. Is this man gonna try to kill us? Is that even a man? Be you a man? He do be! He's a dead man. Is there an overhead smash? There sh I wish there was. Let's- Oh, you know what? There might be. We could do it like this. Good idea. Good thinking. Because we can do, um... I have to- How do I do this? Oh, that's literally it. The heavy attack. What if I hit it really hard by doing one of these? I think... No, I don't know. Well, one last thing to try. You see it. You see what I have in mind. Nah, okay. Well, we must need something that we don't have. Are either of these a secret way? Maybe no. 
Although this makes me think that this is a secret way. But perhaps not. Aha! Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Alright, no worries. Is it too high? It is too high. Confirmed. Interesting area. We would love to find a little place to plant our seed. Oh. There you go. This is kind of a cool little area. It's, a, you know, light on enemies, more heavy on puzzles. Good change of pace, I guess, after we did that little gauntlet at the beginning. Against a bunch of dudes, for God's sake. These could be wider. <laughs> but that's more of a personal preference. It's fine. Yeah, look, there's got to be a way to fill in that gap. Ugh, you hate to see it. Oh, look. That's kind of interesting, huh? The <laughs> evocator has stolen my account on PS5. I see. It's double spatula time. Alright, how do I be in there? It is... Oh, maybe I have to be over there and then shoot across? That seems right. That seems like a puzzle. Anybody here want to stop me from doing this? No? All you minions are just cool with me being over here? Oh, that's much worse. Oh, I thought it was going to be cooler than that. It's fine. Oh. But before we do that, let's just check on this. No, okay, it didn't fill this in. That would have been a sneaky video game move, to have it also fill in the bridge behind you. But, alas, not this time. No? It's so empty. I feel like in a different game, walking through this area would be, make me very nervous. I'd be like, I'm gonna have to fight my way all the way back through this. Because there's no enemies here right now. It's going to be, we're going to go all the way through, and it's going to be easy coming in, and then going back, it's going to be nothing but misery. But, maybe they'll spare us that. Lever puzzle. Nah, bro, chill games to relax and study to. <laughs> Archer duel. Whoa! Double kill. It is sort of chilled out right now. Alright, this is an area where we're gonna... Oh no, this is just gonna open a door, right? Hello? An intruder! And they're intruding! You'll regret this flagrant trespass. It's not that flagrant. You're done for now, little bird. You're gonna get crushed. Red shirt. Yep. Oh, expendable. I do like his frog armor. You are certainly persistent, crooked crow. Do you like my armor? It was a size too small, but I think I made it work. Throg! Can you believe I found it just lying around on a nearby corpse? You are just another bleeding heart standing in the way of progress. This is the natural order. The strong survive. Hop on, small fry. You heard him, hop on! I sure hope I don't end up between those chubby green cheeks. Boy, I have the exact opposite feeling, but, you know, whatever. You do you. Actually... Let's duck in this door real quick. How many souls we got? 400. Not enough. Sorry, the UI is a little busy on that page. I was looking and I was like, what? Where is it? What am I looking for? Murder! Let me in! Let me in! Open the gates!
Convenient lever. Very, yeah. I think usually, like, typically speaking, you would put that on the inside of the door, but I don't want to tell these people how to do their job. Yeah, if I was building a fortress, I'd put the gate lever on the inside. Same, same. I guess you don't want to get locked out, you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Perfect shots. Whoa, a little too early. I guess it was a wing and a miss. You know... Oh no, not quite, huh? You said it! Oh yeah, we got it in there. What is this guy? Jumping... Jumping... Boomerang Man? You said the name of the stream! We have to do it! Oh, he literally is a Jumping Boomerang Man. Don't fall in the water. I specifically asked you not to fall in the water, bird. Crouch, 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 crouch. I need the crouch button in this game. Aha! Low. I really missed that from when we were playing, uh, I guess, Indivisible. We, we teabagged people a lot. And it was just nice, after like a long, hard fight to just, you know, run and just repeatedly crouch. I hate my life. <laughs> oh! Toxic? A little. A little. Good arrows. Every time I go in the water, a little piece of me just, just dies. Fine. Oh, it was a trick! The whiz robe! How many little pieces of you are left? Uh very few. We're 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 remarkably short on little pieces. In dangerously low surprise supplies. There is a uh, a, a poverty of pieces. Oh, we're gonna die here. There's too much going on. Boom. Why would I want to stand here? There's gotta be a reason. Maybe not. To look out over your domain? Ah, yes. This is where I keep my Tetris piece. He's dead. It's sort of nice to have another shot, but what I really want I gotta be honest, is, uh, more health. Oh, Hello! Rango, what's up? <laughs> You're just in time! Cool biome! Yeah, it's kinda neat. It's sort of, uh, like, we're down in the bayou. Ooh, frame rate, kinda choppy, just walking over this bridge. Why would this be? Alright, the gate's open, that's easy enough. We got a, uh, a hammer now, we got a new weapon. Load-bearing bridge, yeah. It's, it's holding all the FPS. All the frames are, uh, are there. College again for me soon, need to get a job, uh, for collab, uh, for, for college work experience as part of the course. Oh, interesting! Where are you looking for uh, jobs, if you don't mind me prying a little bit? What kinds of places? I hate this game. <laughs> Animal related work, makes sense. Okay. Look out. Get him. Stay focused. 
He had eight souls. That's crazy. Don't fall off. I do what I want. Oh wait, I want to go up here. Because we pulled this lever already. Look out for the whiz room! It's a trick! Oh, I can't see him! Jammed in the corner. And I wasn't quite hitting him? Not excited for college again too much. Uh, big paper shit on how the horse gut works or something, and feeling lonely seeing all these with friends and me alone? Ah. Uh, do, are you, uh, are you moving house, or is everything still, like, uh, remote when you're in college? I don't have a good frame of reference for how open different parts of the world are right now. No, neither. I'm just bad socially. Oh, I see. I see. I gotcha. Uh, that's tough. Is it interesting, at least, to uh, learn about how the horse gut works? I don't have a lot of... Uh, I don't know very much about that. <laughs> Look out. Should we go down here? I guess we have to, right? This is a dead end otherwise? If I look out over my domain, what is the light touching over here? All good stuff. I like practical days and behavior lessons. Alright. Are practical days, do you get to... Do you, are you like with real animals? Because that does sound dope. I hate this skinny bridge. This skinny bridge can go right to hell. out. Oh, rolled, rolled away, but didn't escape. I hate this fight. This fight can eat a butt. I don't want to play this game on skinny little bridges. Don't, ah, don't constrict my movement game. I want to, I want to run around and do stuff. I don't want to stand on a skinny, tiny little bridge. Oh, he lived? What a D-bag. Yeah, working with the animals, we have so many different types as well. Even like llamas and red pandas. Oh, red pandas are awesome. Love a red panda. Remember when you were like, this is nice, there's no enemies? I do remember something like that. I can't remember who said it, but it was definitely on this stream. Yeah, something to that effect. Where's that whiz robe? There's supposed to be a whiz robe here too. Who hid in that corner and I couldn't see him? Is that him? Whiz robe, show yourself. I knew it. Kill him with arrows. Oh, I swung. I, I thought having a big slow weapon was gonna be cool, but now I don't know. Red Panda are cool and endangered, so not often seen in your common petting zoo, petting zoo lol. Makes sense. Oh, it's either endangered. No, I hate this game. I'm in a rage. All right, please face the right way. Please, character. Whatever your name is. What is our name? I guess it's probably Mingus. If we don't know, I think it's safe to assume that we're named Mingus. Like most video game characters are. Crow? I guess you're right. That's, that's not my name. That's my job. <laughs> yeah, red pandas are very endangered. Aw, oh, man. Taylor. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You also have raccoon dogs. 
What? I don't know what a raccoon dog is. That sounds good. I like raccoons. Although the raccoons that live near my house are like as big as dogs. Can we do this fight without having to go actually talk to these people? In some ways this is ideal. I just don't want to do this part again. Stop this. Maybe we should have invested in uh, making our arrows stronger. We do use them for a lot of stuff. Nice, no enemies in the area. Classic Pyotr. When Pyotr enters area, any area in Rain World. Oh, this place is great. I feel like every area in Rain World was filling me with ab like absolute terror. Oh look, a glitch. It's, it's working. It's going through. Alright, I figured it out. Rain World creates tension well because you're so uncertain. Mmm, indeed. No, 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 no. Please. Got him. Alright. The trick of this is going to be not taking a hit. I said not taking a hit! I hate this game. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, okay. If you go through the door, will all the enemies respawn? I believe so. That's okay. They all respawned anyway. <laughs> Oh, we're, up. we're back. We're back. Murder that man. Play Yu-Gi-Oh. I do like to play Yu-Gi-Oh. We're gonna run out of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh that I know. I'm gonna have to, like, watch season four, I think. <laughs> to, to be prepared for the Yu-Gi-Oh stream soon, since they skip all of season three. For some godforsaken reason. Don't even get to play the Penguin Duel. Okay, run past these people. Who cares? S3 filler arc. Big time. Yugi no. Nyoigyo. Um, it is a filler arc for the most part. All that stuff that happens with Noah doesn't really matter. And it's kinda dumb. Also. Hit him. Yu-Gi-Oh! OC, do not steal. Oh, man. What would a Yu-Gi-Oh! I guess it would be like... Another one of Yu-Gi's classmates? Probably? Who's... You know who's kind of a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! OC? Or who's kind of like a... Uh, feels like a fanfiction character is uh, Rebecca. The girl who's like... She's a girl genius. She plays Yu-Gi-Oh! really well. Uh, and she... Her grandfather was friends with Yu-Gi-Oh's grandpa. But the plot of her big episode is... She and Yu-Gi play in a duel, and her grandpa and Yu-Gi's grandpa are watching, and they realize that the duel that Yu-Gi and Rebecca are playing is the exact same duel that they once played many years ago, card for card. Um... And so they're like, oh, I know how this, you might be surprised how this duel is going to end. And it's like, shut up, Grandpa, you don't know. You don't know how this duel is going to end. But it, it does, it's the same. It ends, and the worst part is it ends with Yugi surrendering even though he could win the duel. And they're like, oh, you'll be surprised, my grandson Yugi, they're going to play all the same cards, I can tell because they've been the same so far. And then it's going to come to a part where he can win and he's going to give up instead. Deepest of lore, I see. Dark Souls needs to get on Yu-Gi-Oh's level. For real. Did Rebecca th 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 uh, threaten to throw herself off a blimp? I hear that's Yu-Gi's greatest weakness. 
No, she didn't. She doesn't threaten to throw herself off a, a blimp. But she does have a teddy bear that, like, speaks for her sometimes. I mean, like, she, like, talks through. She's like, Mr. Bear says you're a big meanie or whatever. And then Mr. Bear will, will give some unkind words. It's weird. It's... It's like one or two episodes, and it's really weird. No! Goddamn. Okay, we can heal, though. How does she convince him to give up? <sighs> I can't remember. The deal is, so in the original... <laughs> this is going to be very dramatic. In the original duel that the grandpas did, the grandpa duel back in time... They were dueling because they were both archaeologists and they'd been sealed inside of a tomb. There had been like some kind of a, a collapse and they were stuck inside and they only have a little bit of water left and so they're dueling for the little bit of water and Yugi's grandpa says, I can tell that you really need the water. Yeah, the grandpa duel back in 82. Yugi's grandpa says, I can tell you really need this water so I'm going to surrender the duel right when I have the chance to win. Um... But why does Yugi surrender? I, I can't remember. <laughs> Mr. Here, like Willow's trendy from Together, who turns giant and smashes your mental struggles trying to murder you. Here, like Willow's trendy from. Oh, from Don't Starve Together? Uh, I don't even want to go down there. I'm fine up here. Do you think the bomb has gravity? Can you check bombs off? Ah, yeah, same thought, same idea, same hat. All right, go, 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 go. Don't fall in the water. I can't believe I didn't fall in the water and then I did. It was, it was a, a duo of disbelief. I hate this game. I don't want to do this fight. This isn't a fun fight to do. <laughs> I don't want to do this. All right. Just no room to maneuver. Also in Together Willow rework, she's immune to fire. I don't want to do that fight. That's just, it's like, it's really not fun to do the fights on the little skinny areas. Maybe it's MM time. Let's give it one more good college try. But yeah, it's, it's, it's like not, it's not that it's hard. We play hard games on this channel from time to time, but it's just not fun. Um, also in Together Willow rework, she's immune to fire and takes much longer to overheat, but she freezes quick AF. Which is why Willow Trolls can be double trolled with water balloons in winter or spring. Ah! So you splash them with some water balloons and freezer. We're not. So I, I tested Majora's Mask. And it does, it's, it's all set up to work. Tested it last night, it's all good to go. But it would take a minute to set it up if we were gonna try to switch to it. It, it, would, it would be a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a thing. In particular, we'd have to like, there's not enough USB ports, so I'd have to be like unplugging some things and plugging other things in. Yep, our ice staff, I believe, a single hit freezes her. That's pretty good. Freeze your friends! Oz, you can cook on Willow's lighter. Oh, that's handy. So she's like a, uh... Bastion has good music and is easy. I do like that. We'll see. We'll, we'll give this a good... A good try. I mean, as long as we don't... As long as this game it doesn't like lean on those kinds of areas too much going forward, it's it's fine. I can do one or two here and there, but they're they're a real pain. Friends is a generous word to give to the random willow who joined your server and has come to your base. Fair enough. I guess if she's there to troll you. <laughs> Does she uh, parallel with the uh, guy who has like very specific food needs? Since she can help him cook, I guess I guess it's easy enough to find ways to cook without a lighter. But this 
The good news is we seem to have aggroed both of these guys. Oh, the guy who is, like, downstairs. Ah, oh, I thought we were out of range. I don't know. Is this fun? Why does he need? Why does he take so many hits? Just stand there, plinking away at him a hundred times. Willow is a famous troll character because she starts with the lighter, so the base is going down in flames. I see. Yeah. You have all the right equipment out of the gate for some serious trolling. Or Weber, because Spider Den off the bat. I kind of want to play as Weber. I think that's the character I want to try next. Just for a real change of pace. Just like, in this life, I'm going to be a weird Spider-Man. But not, you know, the Spider-Man. Alright, here we go. Start another run- uh, don't start run instead, lol. This game can't eat a bud. Ooh, I'm in a rage. Or Wes, because Wes just eats all the food and dies. Lots of good ways to troll, it would seem. You just can't move around. I, like, I don't feel like... I don't feel like, oh, I need to be way better at this game, and then I can get through that part. I feel like I need to get sort of lucky and not have attacks that I can't get out of the way of. Like, I, I think that we can get through there in a matter of time. If it's not fun, don't play it. Streaming should be fun. True. Let's give it, let's give it one more go. I mean, I do like other parts of this game. And so if we can get past this part, maybe it's fine, but otherwise it's a job. True. Let's see what we can do. Let's, okay, the wizard robe is here. To try to hide where we can't see him. Good, there he is again. Pathologic challenges that, but this is supposed to be fun. <laughs> I do think that this game is supposed to be fun, yeah. Would agree. Alright, let's slowly kill these guys. It's weird because, like, the design philosophy feels very different from Titan Souls. Where, like, the bosses were tough, but we would get off, like, one- you would get off one good hit and the boss fight would be over. And here, I mean, look at this. Look what we're doing right now. Pathologic creators casually call their game a dress simulator. I'm not against that. I mean, stress, not dress, little. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, I played um, uh, Code Vein, and I mostly did that as a as, as a dress up simulator. I would say it was mainly the enjoyment that I got out of that game. But a stress simulator, no. I don't know if I need that in my life. Dress up games are the important. Agreed. And like when I played World of Warcraft, that's what I always wanted to do was just dress my guy up in stupid clothes. So I ran around and I was a gnome in a yellow robe that I had made myself. I wasn't very good at that game. Can we aggro him up here? Come up here. Come up here. I don't want to fight you down there. Would you come up here? Come up here! Why did you come up here the other times? 
But you won't do it this time? Come up here. What if I stand, like, over here? Can I aggro you? I don't think so. Okay. And we can't run past. We have to have this fight on the bridge. It's the law. Look out. Nowhere to move. Let's see if we can get rid of these at least. Oh my god. Stop. Nowhere to stand. Easy. What do you think? You wanted to you wanted to give it one more good go? It is true, Pathologic kept me up a couple nights. The psychological horror is unique, real, and hits hard right there and powerless to hell to... Hmm... Powerless to help others, got it. And hammering home permanent mistakes. Oh, I don't know if I want to play a game to be stressed. I understand, I believe you can do it. I understand that there's a, uh, but at what cost? <laughs> true. Let's do it. We'll do it, and then we'll quit. And then we'll say this wasn't fun, and that's why we quit. <laughs> I think that's the compromise. I legit felt so bad when I saved a character but held off and he died. I cared about him. He was just a child. Oh, the stakes might be too high for me to really get into pathologic. Alright, actually let's hold off on this for a second. We'll we'll stop back and heal up before we drop down. We didn't successfully aggro the boomerang man up here. The boomerang man with the fantastic enormous health bar. I wonder, if we bomb them, does that push them? Kind of hard to pull off. Uh, doesn't seem to. Because if we could bump them off the uh, platforms, that would be cool. Actually, before we do this, let's do the fire flowers. Pathologic 2 doesn't give you an explicit goal. You can finish and let every major character potentially die, but the game explores your natural want to go against complete, uh, hell to help those people you care for, stand up for something you value. I So I do like... It sounds like then there's some real, uh... What do we call it? Ludonarrative consistency. Your character is doing the stuff that they do because you, the player, want to do it. And I like that. If that is the case. Yeah! It's like when you boot up the first Legend of Zelda, and like, you don't run around because the game's like, run around and we'll open up more of, you know, your mini-map, or we'll, you know, we'll give you these rewards or whatever. You run around at the beginning of The Legend of Zelda because you just want to run around and, like, hit guys and check stuff out. All 
All right. Sir? It fits with your character you're playing as well. You get a real sense they're a very empathetic doctor. Ah, that's cool. Not a lot of, not enough good doctor characters in games, except maybe Dr. Mario. And I guess the guy from Vampyr? Isn't he a doctor? I don't know what that game's about. Not enough room to roll. Well, you'll just have to get out of the way a different way. What's that? There is no other way to get out of the way? It's a me. All right, let's cheese this. Easy. Not enough room to roll in any direction except forward. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, there you go. Alright, what do you guys want to play instead? <laughs> no, let's keep going. Especially compared to pretentious a-hole Bachelor, who's still, but still hyped for Bachelor campaign. And he's actually very complex and relatable in his own way. Ah. Oh good, and we opened this up. That part was so annoying. Jesse, you couldn't roll. You know, the only way that we have to get out of attacks, really, is to, to dodge roll. But you, you literally, there just wasn't enough room. Anyway, that's obvious. Uh, let's have the arrows. Did he jump in the water? No. Although I wish he would. Bachelor taps into our more logical ways of weighing up lives and trying to find a greater good in our fears of death. Ah! Seems interesting thematically. I don't want to go down here. I just don't want to do this part. <laughs> I just, I see these enemies, I'm like, I don't want to fight these guys. These guys are a pain. This guy's going to take a million hits. Oh, and I can't shoot through that. Good. Like, this combination of enemies on this little tiny bridge, I just, I just don't have very much of an interest. The good news is, I don't think we ever have to do that other fight again, but we may get- we may be doing this one again soon. We're out. I'm out. What do you guys want to play instead? Um, let's play a different game. All, like, ready to alt F4. I'm- it's- yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Steam. Thanks, Death Store. Don't starve? Uh, I do, I don't, I don't want to jump right back into, do, uh, Don't Starve, I don't think, though. Uh, what can we play right now? Um, let's see. I'm looking at Steam. We could play, uh, Carto. We were going to play that on Wednesday. Oh, but I haven't installed it, so probably we won't play that. Um... Uh, should we just do it? Should we just play Death Store? Let's give it one more good try. Even though I am pretty sick of these fights. I'm just I'm just hopeful we can punch through and go to a different area and do something else. But This is a good reminder that I should always have other stuff lined up to do. The Bachelor sees a lot of those rituals as more problem than good. Oh, he's trying to... I missed part of this. The Bachelor also isn't a local and in once spent half the campaign trying to work around the ritualist laws. Oh, interesting. So he's uh, he sees these sort of dogmatic practices as uh, 
causing problems. Whereas other people are probably like, this is tradition, we have to do it this way. You see this sometimes. Yeah! Oh, okay, let's get rid of this fire flower this way. That's at least something. See? Oh, that's a hit? I was still rolling. All right. Let's keep it moving. My fear is that the big frog boss fight is gonna also be in an area like this. Hopefully not. Is he? Uh, Batchers also has, like, said kind of an asshole. Saying some really rude stuff. You are broken, Lara. I, on the other hand, I, on the other hand, am used to winning. Dies from starvation on the street. Ah, yes, we see this sometimes. Uh, it does often seem like uh, confident people do not match their confidence with their competence. Oh, we gotta go. Hup. We gotta, we gotta haul it back. And heal up. This little green guy is awfully tenacious. I have a problem with it. Ignore. And pretend just dropping random Latin phrases out of nowhere to sound clever. Mmm. I guess you could say his, uh... I don't know enough Latin. I was gonna try to do something funny with Latin, but I don't know enough Latin to come up with anything funny. What are the green beans? Who are the green beans? They're little guys who just, like, come out of the, uh... When we plant a seed, they, like, show up. I don't really know who they're supposed to be. Oh, there was another seed right here. Well, that's fine. Thatcher's main quest is to defeat death. Ah, that does not sound uh, futile at all. Get out of there. Cool. We got plenty of seeds. I thought we were going to be, like, always running out of seeds, but that's that has not been a problem for us. Alright, pulling the lever so we don't have to do that part again, although we'll remember that that, uh, is there. He comes to town because he heard someone exceedingly old is there and come to ask how they avoided death. When he arrives, the guy is dead? Ah, bum bummer. I guess you could make it a short visit then. What, why didn't that hit him? I shot that guy with an arrow, he didn't take any damage. It's too far away. Oh. Actually, the number of enemies that I just don't like to fight is definitely increasing. Oh, we hit this uh, puzzle beacon over here, by accident. Hup. 
Go past. Arrows for you. I guess, yeah, since there are so many enemies where hitting them with a the sword just isn't a very good option, I wish the arrows did a little bit more damage. Because they're friend, uh, and he is also dead. <laughs> oh. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You go into town, you try to talk to the old man, find out how he got so old, and he's dead. And you try to talk to his old friend, and he's dead too. Just one thing after another. What are we doing here? Artemy, uh, the guy you play is default uh, uh, Path Logic 2, okay. Easy. Man, this isn't what I want to do. I don't want to be fighting on skinny little bridges. Come back to this place where it can actually be fun to fight you. Here we go. Where I can actually use all my abilities. Easy. Don't do the dodge rolls, just walk out of the way. While we're on the bridge. Is there going to be something good over here? Nope, I regret going over here. Let's just walk past these guys. I don't need to deal with this. Oh, I do have to deal with this. Oh, nope, I do. <laughs> oh, good. This same fight again. I was just what I was looking forward to. Alright, and there's still more people over here, right? He was born as part local weird plant people and like forgot most of your culture, but like the weird people tell you the secrets of the earth. Find out this one tip. Bachelors of Science, here, click here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Although, actually if we can just get one past this guy. Or I think he died. Alright, we're good. Free me from these bridges. We have to go back to the bridges. I guess this is what we're doing now. We're just going to run through and pick these guys off. Oh, it's so dumb. That hit detection. Yeah, the Bachelor Sea's army is kind of dumb and naive, and the original is serial killer, which and in the original is serial killer, which isn't wrong. It's brutal. Wait, so do you play as a serial killer in the second game? Why are there so many seed things now? I don't need this now. Ah, <laughs> oh, boo. Now I need it. Just walk past this part. And the original Bachelor is first campaign and Artemy is the second harder campaign. Okay. Oh wait, we're back here? 
Ah, it's a bit of a problem. Let's go through the door. Although I guess that's effectively the same as dying, right? Because there's not really a penalty for death other than I go back to the door. So... And all the enemies will be back anyway, so I guess we should just push it. Oh, good, and I can stand on the other side of a, a bridge and shoot arrows at this the guy that takes a million arrows. Please! I can't hit him from here? You can spend some souls. True. I mean, the upgrades we're getting feel pretty negligible. But yeah, we could do it. I, I wouldn't say that I've noticed any difference from the upgrades that we've been getting. But presumably they're doing something. So yeah, let's do it. The harder challenge pushed you to kill the innocents. It's a grim game by the sound of it, Rango. All right, let's see what we can buy. Although we can't really buy what we want, which is more health, if I'm honest. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? So we can get... Melee and range attacks charge faster. I don't think that's and it's something we ever need. Uh, get more melee damage. We just need more ranged damage, I guess, just to make this go a little faster. Let's take it. I wouldn't normally want to build that first, except that this area we just kind of have to blink at people, because melee combat is such a non like a non option on the on the narrow bridges and stuff. There's an irony in one. You were playing. Uh, the most sympathetic character and doctor meant to help people and you're pushed to be the serial killer by the world around you. Oh, how painfully ironic. I just wanted to help people. Now I have to be a serial killer. Oh man. It's like, um... I don't know what it's like. <laughs> I think it's like Vampire. Maybe we should play that game on stream sometime. I'm pretty sure in that game you're a vampire who's a doctor and like you're like torn between being a vampire and your Hippocratic Oath. I heard that about that game. I don't know if that's actually true. I haven't I haven't played it. But if it is true, that's hilarious. Good. Enemies that we don't like enjoy fighting. Just one, though. And we could probably just run past him. In fact... I guess this is probably a bad sign. Keep going. There's gonna be a heal. It's up here. But in two, because Artemy is the default, you're not really pushed to be a killer. And, well, killed... Uh, be a killer, well killed of innocence. Hmm. Can I just live up on this box? Boy, I don't want to do any of these combat encounters. <laughs> Make sure you actually get to heal. I forgot to heal! I forgot I didn't actually do it! That's okay, there's another heal over here. Because we, uh, we went the wrong way, right? We could have gone over here instead. Oh boy, I just don't want to do any of these <laughs> fights. Oh man. Pull the lever! Oh, that's interesting. What's over here? We opened up that bridge, but also what's over here? Heal it. Heal, quick. I'm stuck on the geometry. 
Or is this just a dead end? I don't want to do this fight on this bridge. We are we're actually out. Sorry. <laughs> we're we're actually out. Um Tell you what, let's let's just call it early today. I, I don't want to do this fight on this bridge. I this whole area is just a pain in the ass. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, there's not really enough time to, to get started into something else. Uh, so so let's call it there. Uh, I think, yeah. What can we say about Death's Door? Uh, I liked it at the beginning. There are some real annoying encounters. This area in particular, I just am not really enjoying. So, we're, we're calling it here. We're done with Death's Door. Um, Thatcher will be the hard mode this time, and early season of Pathologic 2 in a certain moment implies he's going to be a brutal killer. Oh my god. Um, let's go to the calendar real quick just to wrap up. Um, yeah, we're done. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, bam! Cool! So, this has been Cool People Monday. Uh, we played some more Death's Door. A little disappointed, the way that it has turned out. Uh, and I feel, I feel pretty out on it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for Cool People Tuesday, and we'll be starting Majora's Mask. So we'll get the, uh, Nintendo 64 all set up. It should all be working. Tried it yesterday, turned on the game, saw the characters moving around and stuff. Uh, so seems all set up. We'll be here with the Nintendo 64 controller. Uh, should be pretty good. Um, that'll be from 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time, crucially. Uh, make sure you have the Nintendo hint line on speed dial. Definitely, yeah, we'll, 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 be, we'll be calling them, I'm pretty sure, for most of the game. Um, oh, and Bachelor in 1 and 2 as well starts being given a pistol. I don't even get a gun in my Pathologic 2 playthrough. Oh, missed it. Ah, dang. You hate, to, you hate to find that out in a game that it's like, oh, you gotta use this really important item. And it's like, wait, that item was in the game? I got all the way through. I didn't even, oh. Anyway, uh, if you watched any of this live tonight, thank you so much for watching live. Uh, no, I know it was a little bit salty there at the end, but I was, I'm just out on that game. Uh, and if you watch this as a recording or on YouTube, thank you so much for watching that way too. And until next time, I will see you later.